Hello, in this screencast I'm going to show you how to install the Alfresco portlets into the Liferay portal. I've already downloaded the Alfresco and Liferay Tomcat bundles. I'll start by installing Alfresco. To do this, I double click and unzip the file. Once the archive has extracted, we'll go ahead and configure it so that it will work with the portal. Using your favorite text editor, locate the Alfresco global.properties file. It should be located under Tomcat Shared Classes. The first thing we'll do is add a configuration for the authenticator that will support single sign-on with the Liferay portal. These two lines define an authentication chain that includes the external authenticator we'll be using with the portal. Next, I'll add the locations of external applications such as OpenOffice, ImageMagic, and Swift Tools. It's these external applications that are used by Alfresco to convert documents to PDF and also create thumbnails and flash previews. That's all the configuration I need to do on the Alfresco end. The next step is to create the MySQL database. From the command line, I go into the Alfresco installation directory and use MySQL to execute the SQL script under extras databases MySQL DB setup.sql. This will create an empty Alfresco database as well as an Alfresco user account that will be used to connect into the database. I can start Alfresco up now and tail the log so I can see the progress. It may take a few minutes for Alfresco to start up completely. Look for the server startup message in the log file to be sure that it started. I'll now test my Alfresco installation by pointing my browser to localhost 8080 slash Alfresco. Once I'm logged in, I'm going to go into the administration tool. In here, I will create a user account for the Liferay user that will be accessing the document repository. This step is completely optional as the external authenticator that we configured will be able to actually create a new account should it not already exist within Alfresco. Liferay ships with a default administrator account called Bruno. So I'm creating a user account with an ID of Bruno and a password of Bruno. I quickly confirmed that the account was created by going to the Manage System User screen and clicking on Show All. Let's now switch over to the Alfresco Share application. To do this, change the URL to localhost 8080 share. Let's log in as Bruno, using the login Bruno and the password Bruno. Liferay likes to use a fictitious company called 7Cogs, so let's create an Alfresco Share site called 7Cogs. Let's now visit the document library. Here I'm going to create a couple of sample folders and upload a few documents. Notice that the newly created folders appear on the left hand side of the screen under the library section. Let's now pre-populate the document library with a few sample documents. Don't forget, you can use Shift Select to select more than one document at a time. Alfresco generates thumbnails in the background, so you may have to wait before you see them all. It's now time to install the Liferay portal, so let's unpack the Liferay portal zip file. Note that this is Liferay's Tomcat distribution. Once the archive has been extracted, I'll need to make some additional configuration changes. First of these is to the Tomcat Catalina.properties file. This is located under Tomcat, Conf, Catalina.properties. Scroll down to the bottom and modify the shared loader property. This change will allow the Alfresco portlets to read configuration files that live outside of the war path. The next change we need to make is to server.xml. We need to eliminate any port conflicts with the Tomcat server Alfresco is using. So here I change the server, connector, and AGP ports. Note that the Tomcat connector is going to be listening on port 9090. The next step is to copy some configuration files from the Alfresco Tomcat server into the Liferay Tomcat server. Here I navigate into Tomcat Shared and then I copy the shared folder into my clipboard. Then I navigate into Liferay's Tomcat server and paste the shared folder there. We only really needed one directory called web extension from here. 
so I'll traverse the pasted folder and do a little cleanup along the way. I delete alfresco global.properties and get rid of the extension and messages folders under alfresco. Now I need to edit a configuration file that's under the library home slash tomcat shared classes alfresco web extension. Rename the share config custom.xml.sample file to share config custom.xml. Next, I'll paste in some connector details that will allow the Alfresco portlets to connect to Alfresco running on port 8080. The final step is to go into the Alfresco home directory under Tomcat Web Apps, locate the share.war file. We need to copy this file into the library home slash deploy directory. What we're effectively doing here is deploying Alfresco Share as a portlet into the Liferay portal. We're now ready to start Liferay, so I navigate into the Liferay home directory and start up Tomcat. Let's tail the log so we can keep up to date on the progress of the deployment. I'm looking for a message that tells me that the Alfresco Share portlets have been deployed. All I need to do now is point my browser to localhost port 9090. Let's log in using the Bruno account, bruno at 7cogs.com with the password of Bruno. We'll be adding the portlet to a new page, so I create a new page called Alfresco and navigate into it. The document library portlet takes up a bit of screen real estate, so I'm going to change the layout to a one column layout. It's now time to add the document library portlet, so click on Add Application and then select My Document Libraries from the Alfresco category. I see that the portlet loaded correctly, so let's now change the look and feel. I'll remove the borders so that the portlet looks like a more natural extension of the Liferay portal. You'll need to refresh the page in order for the look and feel changes to take effect. So here we are. We now have a portlet that shows the document libraries of the sites that I belong to. I can navigate into that library, I can upload download documents, create folders, and everything else I would normally do under Alfresco Share. There's just one more thing I want to show you. Earlier in the screencast, I mentioned that Alfresco can automatically create new accounts. In order to test this, I'll sign off from the Bruno account and create a brand new Liferay account. I click on Sign In and create a new account called John Blogs. Note that Liferay will automatically generate a new password. Liferay greatly values your security and privacy, so be sure to supply the additional security information that's being requested. Once I'm logged into the new account, I click on the Alfresco tab. Here's the My Document Libraries portlet, and I can click on the public document library called 7COGS. An Alfresco user account for John was automatically created as soon as the portlet loaded. I'll verify this by going back into Alfresco Share. Click on the People link at the top of the page, and let's do a search for John. As you can see, a user account for JBlogs was automatically created. I hope this screencast was useful to you. You may find links to the downloads, installation instructions, and other documentation by visiting alfresco.com slash liferay. You may also send an email to info at alfresco.com should you have any other questions. Thank you very much for watching.